Hey everyone, I love these sneak peek videos. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek at a new Fusion Get Part Numbers feature. And uh, let me just kind of start by describing this. I've got an assembly here, and for many of these uh, items in my assembly, I don't have a property, I don't have a value for the part number. Some things I do. Maybe I've got, maybe this bolt kit is already an open bomb, it's got a part number, and maybe this tailstock assembly is being reused, but I got some new bits and pieces here and they don't have part numbers. Okay. That's um, that that's you know, kind of a problem. I need to assign part numbers for all those. So let's take a look at the existing open bomb generate next part number dialog. There's a new setting here. It says get part numbers for all items in this assembly. Boom, I'm gonna check that. I'm gonna t I'm telling open bomb where to go fetch those part numbers from, from, from this catalog. And I've got automatic part numbers turned on in that catalog. So I'm automatically generating part numbers there. I'm gonna tell uh, the open bomb for Fusion add-in to go ahead and drop down through the tree. It's look, we're looking for things that don't have part number values. When we find one, we jump over to open bomb. We fetch the next part number and here we go. I went and grabbed part numbers for these items, the diff, the, some of their sub assemblies. I assigned them, you can see they're sequential. They came from a catalog over in Open Bomb, and now if I was to look at any of these, um, any of these items in Fusion, it's going to have a part number. So all I need to do now is I just click, uh, I click, I make a bomb, and all these parts go over to Open Bomb with those part numbers assigned. This is really cool because it is going to solve the problem of uh, components not having part numbers when they get to Open Bomb. Um, sneak peek. This will be out in another week or so.